Pero then I will. Okay, I won't say the thing about, about languages that, that is said because it will apply the same to me. Uh, so the translator will have a hard work for the next few minutes. Uh, first of all, thanks to Wikimedia France for the invitation and for bringing, bringing me here because it was a long flight from Chile. And I'm here to present you uh, about our project uh, inside the uh, library of the National Congress in Chile. We had the first project about the Chilean en encyclopedia. Uh, it has a long story. It was first proposed in, 1940, in 1945 by the, pres by the director of the Library of the Congress at the time and was approved by the Senate a few years later. It started to be developed in 1948 with the best scholars of the time in Chile. They had a huge amount of uh, information about different topics from geography to history and folklore. The problem was that it was such a big project that it never finished. First, uh, it didn't have... Oh, okay. You, you, had, you had Juan Domingo Perón speaking uh, behind on my you. Back. <laughs> I'm really proud of that. <laughs> um, it still sounds here. <laughs> okay, um, first it didn't have the management to organize all the files, and then there was a several uh, problems of budget, and then you have the coup d'etat, and a, a lot of other things to be worried. Finally, in 1971, uh, it was cancelled, and all the files were thrown in a warehouse for the rest of the years. In 2003, the Library uh, of the Congress found these files and started to think, what are we going to do with it? So they uh, started to think about publishing it on internet. Um, and here is uh, the value of the encyclopedia. Uh, first, it had uh, unknown or currently disappeared traditions of folklore in Chile that were really explained. For example, a, a game of chil a children game that doesn't exist anymore. They are more focused on PlayStation and those kind of things. Uh, about geography, it has a huge amount of maps uh, in a really small scale that doesn't exist anymore and have the name for small hills in the countryside, for example, and has also an historical value of the vision about things at the time. For example, there's a copy of the history of the Communist Party that was banned at the time. Uh, here's the number of um, chapters about each uh, group of things. Um, uh, them, for example, geography, it has a, a thousand of chapters, which is almost 900,000 files. Um, also from history, chemistry, sociology, etc. So when the uh, Library of the Congress decided to start the project, they had two main goals. First, release Encyclopedia Chilena in the most open way possible, make it available for everyone and for any kind of use. And also, uh, and it's a goal itself of the library to promote the, form the formation of communities based in the chair of knowledge. So uh, I started the project and at the beginning it was a private project with an own uh, server and etc. But eventually we came up with Wikisource um, that had the same goals. When not use Wikisource. It has, uh, it's open for everyone and it's more known uh, than a new platform. But we have never used, but we have never seen something like that, say the natural library. So we started to evaluate uh, if we can use Wikisource or not. So the main uh, pros about it was that it had a wider reach. It also has uh, already a community and it has less cost obviously. Uh, against the idea, um, the, probably the main, was, the main one was the, that the library released all the, all the materials and didn't have any kind of control about it. But uh, after all, it was a really small problem and the library decided to use Wikisource for the pilot project in 2009. We started with 1,000 articles, which is almost equivalent with 
5,000 pages about folklore, history, and political parties. And we started with an optical recognition, character recognition of the pages. Here is an example about, the, about folk, uh, mythological things. Uh, it has, it's a really old piece of paper with a lot of problems. So it was really, really hard to uh, make it, make the OCR. Here's, for example, how it changes. It has a lot of difficulties. And there are a lot of other ones that can, cannot even recognize it at all. Uh, then we uploaded the files uh, as a deja vu files in Wikimedia Commons which is an example of how it's presented, the file and the license down there. Uh, and then we started to create the articles using uh, a tool of uh, Wikisource called Proofreader. So you can uh, correct the text with the image to your site. And we published the articles. For example, here is a look of the history page, an example of one of the parties that we have uploaded to Wikisource. Uh, we had all the files already in Wikimedia Commons, um, but we haven't created all the articles because we don't have the, the people that we need for, for it because it's a big, big project. And besides, we had an earthquake and it was in the, it had, we had a lot of problems after that. But the, for the library, it was a really successful uh, project, so I decided to create a new one, but in a full scale. And this is about publishing the hazards of the legisl legislative bodies of the Republic between the uh, first 35 years of the country. It has a really important value because the, uh, Chile and most of our Latin American countries were celebrating this year the bicentennial, 20 years after the independence. It has 30 37 volumes and 20, 21,000 pages uh, is the basis, are the basis of the current legislation in Chile and contains an historical value uh, about the foundation of the Republic. Uh, here we have a huge staff of people. First, uh, we have more than 13 uh, correctors that are working in the OCR, after the OCR with the DJ files. We have three, uh, three more people uh, working with, for example, tables or pictures that appears in the, in the files. And finally, we have tw more than 20 uh, historians working for analyze of the files. Most of, them, of, of these files have been uh, preserved since they were published and never were really analyzed. And we have found a lot of important information. For example, the presidents of the Senate that weren't available uh, before. Here we have uh, an index of the file. Uh, this is the second volume between 1818 18, 18 and 1819. And here we have uh, an example of our of, our, of one of the articles of the sessions of the Congress. Uh, one of the main things that we have uh, tried to uh, put here in Wikisource in this project is the historical analysis. If you can see in the file, you, have, you see little uh, small green triangles over some uh, keywords, and they talk, uh, uh, and they put uh, information about the context of the, of the relevance of the Topic. For example, here we have Jose Miguel Carrera, which was the first leader of the country, uh, and talks about the coup d'etat he made against the royalist uh, junta of the time. And, he, and we have also a lot of uh, links to other pages about the single parliamentaries. The impact of the project has been really impressive for Spanish Wikisource. It has, uh, it became from, it passed from 7,000 pages to more than 30,000 pages in a few months. You can see here the, the graphics. Uh, compared with other Wikipedias, here's a logarithmic scale, logarithmic scale. Uh, you can see that um, we have improved the number of proofreaded pages, uh, and we are the fourth biggest uh, wiki source now. On um, validated pages, uh, we are competing 
against the Italian guys here. <laughs> also, in the future, we are expecting to join two main platforms, Wikisource to be the origin of the, of the files, with a, a platform made by the Library of the Congress about political history of the country, mixing uh, biographies of the parliamentaries. Here's an example of one, which is already published in, in, on the website, and mixing, for example, with photographs, videos, and other kind of files about the different parliamentaries uh, through the history of the country. So I think here's an example of, um, of the, pro the pilot project we've been doing. You can see here um, a copy of the filing Wikisource, and each of the uh, main topics are in color according to their relevance. For example, for a parliamentary, for a place, for a topic of uh, historical importance. And you can search for them, um, for example, if you want to find the motions and interventions of a particular parliament, for example, here about the first leader of the country, Jose Miguel Carrera. And that's my presentation. Thanks for everyone for here.